So it's been so long since I've made a YouTube video or just any type of content. Um, sorry, I got a text message um, or any type of content. So I kind of don't even know what to say or like what my introduction should be. But hey, y'all, my name is Coco <laughs> and I'm a blogger and influencer, if you want to say that. But I want to show y'all my what's the name of it? My finger comber wig that I bought. I forgot which one it was, like the name of it, but I'll link it somewhere um, or show it somewhere on the video. But hold on, let me get it. <clears throat> so I'm in Cartagena right now, so I wasn't able to bring the entire box with me, but <laughs> it came in a box and it came wrapped up in this and I kind of doubled it. Um, trying to make room in my luggage. So this is the wig. This is my first time ever like opening it up and like putting it on. So y'all are gonna see it firsthand. But a finger comber, they are uh, a, a synthetic wig company. Black owned, of course. Um, and this is what it looks. This is the card that came in the box and I guess this is the care instructions for it. Yeah, so I guess that's what it is. And this is what it looks like straight out of um, the wrapping paper, I guess. I guess I can't say the box, but <laughs> the wrapping paper. So this is what it looks like. It's really soft. And just before I get into this whole tutorial, I want to tell you a little something. Um, I was kind of nervous about buying this. I was following them a while on Instagram, uh, but before I do like any big purchase, I always like to Google the brand. And I noticed that they had a lot of, I don't wanna say a lot, but a handful of like negative reviews. But I guess it was during the time of when COVID started. So, um, and it was just people who hadn't received their orders or, you know, that type of deal. And I was nervous, um, but anyway, um, just being a business owner myself, like because it was at the beginning of COVID, like when I saw the dates and everything, I was like, okay, well, I'll give them a chance. Um, but anyway, this is, I don't wanna say a half wig, but it doesn't have a lace or anything. It has the comb attachment here and then in the back. Um, I guess this is the front of it. And before I left uh, to go to Cartagena, I, hold on, I'll show you. Um, I did my hair in flat twists, just in case if I wanted to wear the leave out. And then I made like two, two braids, two little braids, three, I guess, on each side. Um, so we will see how this works. And before we get into this, um, excuse my little twist, uh, but before we get into this, I just wanna say that I am doing, I've been doing it mm, for about maybe four months now, maybe three, three months, uh, like a healthy hair journey, and I'll get more into it in a different video. But I've been really investing in wigs and I wrote a blog post, which I'll have linked below, um, several black owned wig companies and weft companies and clip-ins, uh, just because we can support our own. We don't necessarily have to buy wigs, um, especially natural hair wigs from other companies that don't look like us. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't even know I don't know if this is big head friendly. I might have to scoot back so you can see. Um, but we will see how this goes. Hold on. Oh, it stretches really good. See how you can see. Bad. 
I wish, maybe I have to like pick it out, but I was trying to find my pick earlier. Couldn't find it, don't know if I brought it with me, probably left it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to move this up a little bit, just in case if I don't have to wear the leave out, then I won't. But I kind of wanted to put it in like a half ponytail, like the front part of my head. Ugh. I gotta see how I'm gonna style it. I wanted to do like a half up situation. So I think I'm gonna have to take a little bit of, it's just really shiny. Um, I don't, I don't think y'all can see it as much as I can see it. Um, on camera, it's not really showing up, but in person, it's just really shiny. Um, so I think I'm gonna take out my little flat twist and we shall see. But the company, they've been around for a while. If y'all remember the Havana Twist hair, um, that's the same company who, I think they still sell the Havana Twist hair. But uh, that's how I first, first, first heard of the company. But at the time, I didn't realize that it was the same one that used to sell, or they still do, sell the Havana Twist hair. But they've been around for a while. Um, I don't know if they just started doing um, the wigs or whatever, but... Oh, okay, I'm trying to get it unhooked. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I should have brought my clips with me. Okay. All right, let's see. And I also brought my blow dryer with me just in case if I needed to blow out my hair a little bit. Oh, this is stuck. Excuse my pinky. Um, my nail, my entire nail came off. Um, it'll grow back, it's just gonna take forever. Uh, <laughs> it happened like, almost, a, well, about a week ago. Oh my goodness, let's see. And y'all, since I've been on this healthy hair journey, um, it really consisted, uh, or it's consisting of protective styles. So of course my protective style of choice right now are wigs, just because the braids for whatever reason, um, well, I don't wanna say it's been breaking out my hair, but uh, I'm just not able to moisturize it as often as I can with uh, the wigs. So, and my hair has grown so much, as y'all can see. I mean, if y'all look back at my Instagram pictures, you would see that my whole entire head was blonde. I guess it was about two years ago. And I've been gradually just cutting off the ends. And this past, so we're in, this is March 1st, so, I think January 1st, like around, no, 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 it wasn't January 1st. Right at the beginning of January, I got uh, the rest of the hair cut off, um, including a bunch of split ends. So I think Gabby cut about, oh, this looks good. Um, I think Gabby cut about maybe two inches of my hair. So, and before she cut it off, my hair stopped maybe about right here. And then um, when she cut it off, it was maybe right here, maybe a little bit, maybe right here when she cut it off. Um, and then when I did a length check a couple days ago, because um, I washed my hair before coming here, but when I did a length check, it was already right to where it was. And in another video, I'll let you know what I've been doing, like the care routine that I have for my hair and whatnot but wigs have been my go-to. They've been a lifesaver. Oh, I really like it. Oh, I think this is more, but the only thing, well, you can kind of see this, but I think I can see it because I know it's there, but you have to really be looking. Um, let's see. And I wish I would have brought my pick. It might be in my luggage somewhere, but I really don't feel like 
going through everything. So let's see, I'm just gonna tease it. Yeah, we are doing this together. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna tease it with my fingers, try to get it bigger. Um, I like big hair. I don't have no comb with me except for my rat tail comb um, that I use for parting. But that's it. Um, my pick has got to be in my luggage. And y'all, this wig, I want to say it's very big cat friendly because your girl has a big head. Not only does she have a big head, but my hair is really thick. So it's really stretchy. Um, my hair is really thick. So like even with <laughs> hats, um, I have to get an extra, extra large in men's just so it can fit my head and then fit my hair. It's that serious. Um, let's see. That looks a little different. Okay. I like it like this. Or even if it had some bangs. Um, let's see. Oh, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. And y'all, I even have, where is it? Oh, it might be in my other bag. I don't feel like getting it. Um, I have those clippy things. I don't know where it is. I want to show y'all one second. Hold on. I also have one of these clippy things that you can put in the back of your head, um, which would be really cute. I was just reading the instructions. And for a synthetic wig, it said it could be washed and conditioned. Um, just like your regular hair, you would have to separate the curls and detangle it before washing it in order to avoid the frizz. Um, what else? Oh, and then it said in order to get the pattern back to how it is right now, if I were to wash it and everything, it says to braid it into 10 and 15 sections in which I have these flexi rods. And at the end of the flexi rods, I mean, at the end of your hair, you wanna wrap it with the flexi rods. And then it's said to run hot water over the hair after you've put the flexi rods and the braids in and uh, to let it dry and then it should be fine. I don't know about detangling it just because it's synthetic, but I guess since they said it, it should be fine. I'm not for sure. Um, when I was looking at YouTube videos of people reviewing finger combing hair, I didn't find any of where people have washed and conditioned their unit. So maybe I, after I wear it a few times, I'll show y'all how I do it. Hopefully I won't mess it up. Let's see. I don't know if I like where that looks. Hold on. Y'all, I honestly don't know what <laughs> type of style I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of freestyling it. Um, let's see. I think that'll be cute. And also, uh, when it comes to my edges, I never really do my edges. Like, I never do my edges at all. Um, uh, my hair texture is, I don't know, 4B, 4C. 
Um, I just don't, I don't know. I don't have anything against people doing their edges, um, but it's just not natural to what my hair texture is. And it seems like I have to do a lot of work, like too much work in order to keep them laying flat all day, especially if I'm walking around and it's hot outside and I start to sweat, like my edges just start to curl back up. So I just don't do my edges. I used to when um, I was younger, back in the 90s, in the early 2000s when I had a relaxer. Um, I, oh, I like this a lot better. I would do my edges, but y'all, I just don't care. I'm all for easy, anything that's easy and quick. I'm a lazy natural. Um, I like this style a lot. Ah, I like it, like it, like it. Okay, so I'll have to see how this wig wears over time, but as of right now, they, as of right now, um, oh my God, I love this so much. I'm going to have to see how this wig wears over time before I speak too soon, but I am claiming it that I am a repeat customer from Finger Comer um, for the price of this wig, for the customer service, because um, I have emailed them a few times before I even became a customer. Um, from their Instagram page, they are on it. Like, I love this. Um, and this isn't the only texture that they have on their site. They have um, like shorter, they have it more kinky, they have the blowout, um, like the kinky blowout. Um, I think they have like a straight blowout. Um, they have it like really, uh, like a really short unit. Um, they have like more of like a round Afro unit, which I really want. Um, but y'all, they have a repeat customer here. I love this. Um, okay. I'm gonna finish putting on the rest of my makeup, then on my clothes, cause I'm naked in my robe. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in a few. Okay, so I just kind of thought about it. Um, I don't know why I put on lipstick. <laughs> I have to go downstairs and meet one of the ladies that um, I guess I'm working with uh, for the hotel that I'm staying in. And you have to wear a mask. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Just saying, I put on lipstick. And now I have to put it back on my mask. So, mm. but um, it was brought up to me today. And even before today, like I should do like travel YouTube videos. Y'all, I really want to, I promise I do, but it's kind of hard. Well, for me, I just don't feel comfortable uh, for two reasons. Um, one is safety, being that I travel by myself most of the times. Um, when I'm in a foreign country, especially when I'm by myself, I hardly ever like to pull out my camera. Um, I have a DSLR camera. I hardly ever like to pull it out unless I'm like at a hotel or a resort. But like when I'm just on the streets, I, yeah, <laughs> you won't catch me doing that. Um, like I hardly even like pulling out my phone being that I'm by myself. And I mean, it happens everywhere, but like when you're by yourself, you're traveling in a foreign country, especially in a place where you don't look like the other people here in Cartagena is different just because uh, there's a lot more black people here um, that are from Cartagena um, or that are just traveling here. So it's kind of different, but when you're in a foreign country, and you don't look like the people, you get a lot of attention, especially if they find you attractive. So you get a lot of attention and I just don't like that with, you know, all of the equipment that I have. Um, I just don't feel safe. Um, and I've had a few experiences. I don't really want to talk about them, but to where I was put in danger or I was in danger or whatever. Um, but if somebody wants to do something to you, it doesn't matter how safe you're being. If they want to do something to you, then they will. They'll find some way to do it. Just because in that moment, although you're aware of your safety and your, um, like your goal is to be safe, like when you're out, 
you're still never prepared, in my opinion, for someone else's like bad intentions. So that's really the number one reason why I haven't done any travel blogging content. Um, that's really the number one reason. And the second reason, I mean, it's something that, I don't know, I don't even know. Um, it, it's not even that big of a deal, but like when I travel, I like to be immersed and immersed 100% into what I'm doing. And if I'm vlogging or if I'm talking, it's like a part of me is being taken away from that experience. So I'm not able to be 100% in that experience that I'm partaking in. So, um, and part of travel is more of a spiritual journey for me. Um, every time I go somewhere, especially when I'm by myself, it's like a part of me grows. Um, and it's so intimate, like to myself. And it's like, I learned so much about myself, about like, my culture um just so much so yeah i don't know if i'll be doing any travel vlogging content i don't know if i'll be doing that but i don't know um let's see i don't even know what i want to wear today uh, it's pretty warm outside it's around uh, maybe two two or three o'clock i have this cute little I'll show a picture of my outfit a later. Um, this dress I got from, oh, you can't, y'all can't even see. Hold on. Let me take y'all. Um, yeah, I really love the way this hair turned out. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, y'all, I'm so happy. So let me, Turn on the light so y'all can see. Oh, let me show y'all my hotel room. So this is the hotel that I'm working with. It is the Townhouse Hotel in Cartagena. You have all of the nice um, pictures and artwork. Picture right here. Um, see the two cans behind me. Double beds. This right here, and then I have a cute little balcony. This was a hair video, and now it's turning into something else. Y'all, I'm sorry. This is me in real life. I get sidetracked really easy. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to open this. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all, it is so beautiful. Okay, this is the outside. Here's my balcony. Um, yeah. I might take some pictures. Oh, lighting. Um, <laughs> I might take some pictures a little later up here when the sun is less harsh. But I love this lighting. I love this wig. Oh, client forever. Um, yeah. But this is it. Um, okay, I need to hurry up. Oh, and I love these like fixtures right here. So cute. Um, okay, I'm supposed to be showing y'all my outfit. It's just a regular dress. Um, y'all can't really see. I don't know. Let me see. Where to turn on the light? Just have to get closer so y'all can see. Um, but this is what I'm wearing. Let me adjust myself. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. Um, yeah, this is it. I love the hair. Y'all, y'all can't even tell it's a wig. It looks like my hair goes. Um, but yeah, just this dress. This dress is from Free People. This is from Vicky. Vicky Styles, I think that's how you pr pronounce it. I think that's the name of it. Uh, but yeah, this is it. I gotta find some shoes to wear. But anyway, um, oh, one of the things that I have about the wig that I wish um, it would come in, instead of this, black wrapper, let me get it. Instead of this black wrapper, I wish it came in like a wig sack or a wig bag. I know the first wig that I bought, and I'm new to wigs, y'all. Um, I never thought in a million years I would be a wig person. But instead of it coming in that black wrapper, I wish it would have came in a wig bag like this wig that I bought. Um, 
But nevertheless, I am a customer for life. I love this wig so much. I will leave a link to where uh, you can purchase this wig. And then I'll leave a link to the blog post that I made. Um, it's actually on the first page of Google. If you Google um, black owned natural hair wigs, uh, it'll be on there from blossomandsoul.com. Uh, but I'll leave a link to it to where you can look at the blog post as well as a link to this hair because it's fabulous. But anyway, thank you uh, for watching. I guess I'm supposed to say uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I guess. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Love you. Bye.